This afternoon, our cameras were there as rescue crews pulled a man out of a manhole in Riverside. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tori McGee. Crews from Huber Heights, Riverside, and Wright-Patterson Air Force Base were all on scene at Redding Road at around 4 this afternoon. And so was News Center 7's Taylor Robertson. And Taylor, a neighbor told you the man said he had been down there for three days. Tori, I was here for about an hour this afternoon, and the fire chief told me he couldn't give me an update on camera. So I knocked on some doors around the neighborhood. Everything started around 4 Saturday afternoon when Jack Law says he and his friend were walking towards Redding Road from a back lake. Law said for the past couple days, he had noticed that a manhole cover was not on the hole. So as they passed it... We kind of took a look in it, and uh, we were worried about somebody falling in it and uh, saw somebody down there and assumed they were working. Law said they yelled down and asked the man if he was okay. The guy said, yeah, we got a few steps away and we saw a couple tools in the woods and no trucks around and we're like, yeah, something's not right. There was no rack to climb up or anything, just about a 30, 35 foot straight drop. Law said he asked the man if he needed help. The guy just kind of moaned. We looked at each other and uh, yelled back down there again, you know, we're gonna go ahead and call somebody and, and we called in. Uh, you could see his shoe was off, his foot was messed up, he was shaking real bad. He broke his ankle and uh, I, I hope that was it, but the guy was in rough shape. Our camera was rolling when crews finally pulled the man out around 5 Saturday afternoon. Crews got him out of the hole and onto a stretcher. I talked to one of the neighbors, Patricia Gillis, who told me she can't believe she never heard him calling for help. We didn't hear anything. Nothing. And as you can see how close we are to that area, it's amazing that we didn't hear him. Gillis and her family watched the rescue from their back deck. They put the little pyramid thing and started doing the ropes and stuff. And oh, the firemen yeah. went down with the backboard, with the safety equipment to keep his up. neck oh. stabilized and, and everything, and then they pulled him up. News Center 7 has reached out to Riverside Police for an update that could help better explain what happened today, including who he is and how we got down there in the first place. We'll bring you any new information as we learn it, both on air and online. Live in Riverside, Taylor Robertson, News Center 7.